Hello there friends, Elizabeth from Nova here, still with a really bad throat, I'm sorry for that. Uh, I can't get rid of this uh, Covid uh, cough, I think. Anyways, I've made uh, a witch out of the beautiful uh, Samira uh, in the woods with an orb and uh, some magic uh, floating around. I often get the question, how do I get up, uh, come up with these cards? And it's like, I have an image in my head and I just trying it out on paper so I don't have any reference uh, piece or anything I just uh, wing it along along the way actually this time it's not a lot of uh, my drawings it's the uh, witch's hat and uh, a few trees so I think it will be fairly um, straightforward so if you'd like to make this little piece with me let's have a look at the materials first First the stamps. I've used the Tree of uh, Courage and the Tree of Hope and of course uh, the mirror. And then I've also used the uh, Burst of uh, Stars. Uh, it's just part of them. And the um, mini star and my watercolor paper is as usual 300 GSM. So for the colors, I've used some uh, distress sprays in my usual colors. Actually, I really love my distress sprays. Um, purples, blue, some light colors, and also some darker colors, uh, blue and uh, brown. If you don't have distress sprays, you don't need to use them. Or if you don't, uh, or if you have any other sprays like acrylic sprays, or you can use those as well. Um, my tubes in a new palette I've bought and my little half pans uh, in my Winter Newton box. I need the yellow and some uh, black. For the inking I've used of course Versafine Clear. I've also used the Versafine Clear for some uh, um, enhancing of the colors on the background uh, this time. Uh, I do not have the uh, element inks and uh, so I use this fine clear it works fine I use some blue some um, um, purple colors some brown some green uh, for this uh, I don't remember the names it's um, Shady Lane uh, Fantasia uh, Monarch uh, Bluebell maybe yeah I don't know Anyways, uh, finger dobers for this, and of course you can use the colors you like. You don't need to use my colors, but you know, I'm very into purple. I really like purple. So for the orb, I have this um, template uh, that I use. Or if you don't have a template, you can use anything else actually. We need the, the verse mark uh, for some embossing. This is a really old silver a really nice sparkly thing I got and this is the sparkling uh, white from WOW. We also need some uh, pan pastel, the white, the titanium white and uh, I use this long makeup uh, brush for it. Uh, some pens, my pencil of course uh, for some drawings. It's just the hat and a little, a few trees in the background actually, it's not a lot of drawings. And I have this um, ordinary black color pencil uh, that I color in, it's really good actually. Um, my, uh, uh, and also a pan, pa uh, not a pan pencil, it's a pastel uh, pen. And that's uh, a white one, this is really good as well. My white jelly roll, uh, that was nothing, uh, that was a pencil as well and also my fine liner of course zero zero fine waterproof and also this a little bigger one a little uh, broader one 08 and this uh, silver pen from uniball signal it's really good it's really sparkly and really really silvery and uh, I used a quickie glue as well because we're going to have some uh, sparkle on uh, on the card um, so yeah some sparkle you, I've used some white with some silver in it we need some uh, masking fluid and a rubbish uh, brush for that different uh, brushes of course for the watercolors and yeah here's the rubbish uh, <laughs> rubbish uh, brush for my liquid uh, 
masking, uh, masking fluid, liquid masking, I don't know, whatever. So, this is all the materials you need for this card. So, I hope you will uh, join me uh, to make it. Um, it was a lot of fun and uh, kind of really relaxing, uh, relaxing this time. So starting with the uh, watercolor paper, it's uh, cold pressed, 300 GSM, and this is 15.5 uh, times 18 centimeters. Um, it's very smooth on the front. I start with the stamping. I start with the uh, Samira uh, with the Versify and Clear Nocturne, of course. Uh, stamping her up and then uh, <coughs> lining her up. Uh, <coughs> oh, sorry, my voice is so bad. I think I need to put on some music very soon. Um, so there she is, and I want the dress to be a little bit bigger on the bottom. So I'm just stamping up the the bottom half of the dress uh, and lining it up, and then doing this a couple of times to get a, a longer flowing dress. Oh my voice! Uh, I'm going to put on some music now. So see you later, guys. Okay, bye for now. Do
me again guys um, to get the look I'm after you really need to do all the layers I know there's a lot of layers on this card but you do get the depth with all these layers so I'm sorry if you want uh, this kind of look you need all these uh, layers and I know it it does take a long time but um, I think the result is uh, very very rewarding so just a little input from me and as you can see I got the depth now from this card because I've done all these, uh, these uh, layers. So well um, back to the music and I will talk to you later. Okay. just me interrupting the lovely music um, I was just thinking if you don't have a pastel uh, pen you could always use whatever uh, white color pencil you have uh, or you could use uh, only uh, pan pastels if you if you have the white pan pastel um, it's just to get some glow around uh, the witch uh, on the trees and everything and uh, and some shading so uh, whatever you have you can use um, huh, just a thought back to the lovely music
Just me again, guys. Um, just uh, to let you know that it's really good to do a layer of fixative at this point because you will preserve what you've done uh, already. And then the last layer of uh, finishing touches with the pens will go much easier when it's fixed. I also do a thin layer at the end when uh, the card is uh, finished. If you don't have this uh, fancy fancy uh, fixative, you could use like really uh, ordinary hairspray or uh, hairspray for this actually so <laughs> just an input uh, okie dokie So there you have it guys, all finished. I just have to matte it. It's really shiny and there's a lot of uh, sparkling going on here. I hope you can see that. It's really, really nice. So then I've matted the card. Um, I used some uh, purple cardstock I got, which are really, really shimmery. So it's really nice. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's really nice and some uh, black cardstock on the back. Um, and this was really fun to make actually, and uh, as usual in my messy kind of style, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will give it a try. Um, I hope you can see all the shimmer, it's really really nice, and it's, um, yeah, it's a bit different from uh, other cards, I think. So, um, this was uh, my uh, spirit of, uh, the witch uh, card and my last uh, Halloween card. So, see you next time, guys, with something totally different. Okie dokie, bye bye.